All right. Um, hello, everyone, and um, welcome back to uh, Subnautica de los Zero. I'm Ranyako. Darky, Doki is here with me as usual. Hi. I totally... I'm just here for the. I'm here for the suffering. Yeah. Am I going the wrong way? I probably went the wrong way. Maybe. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, don't worry. The first time I got here, I went in the circle path that you look like you're about to take for about an hour. Ooh, copper. Mostly because it was dark and I hadn't actually gotten the regular flashlight yet. Remember, worst case scenario, you can always turn off the, um, or pull a battery out of something and plug it into your flashlight. Yeah. Okay, I don't think I need that much sulfur. Yeah, you don't. Uh. Stop right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. But I can't. The woman in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. It would appear Congratulations, you met her. Planet than I had anticipated. Sorry, what are you saying? <laughs> Congratulations, you've met her. A. So I have. Oh, maybe the whole thing. Maybe it wasn't in two parts. I thought it was in two parts. Maybe they changed it since the last time you played. Let me just make Maybe. sure. Yep, I do have the whole thing. <laughs> and a freak ton of other things I can make. Battery charger is one of the most important. A coffee vending machine is actually more important than I gave it credit for the first time. Because it gives you coffee? Guess what coffee does? For the last time, I'm not cheap. Then what's your theory? Well, what's going on? Works, if you ask me, actually. Zeta's been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. Allergies? Oh, is something in bloom in this frozen sector? Thermal lilies. And if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> Just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis, say intruder. Intruder. Uh, intruder. Intruder. Danny? Oh, I'm just an observer here. I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle, you three are suddenly very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. So many things to scan. <laughs> well, at least I probably won't be uh, won't need to venture out for for a while after coming back to the habitat because I'll be busy building, <laughs> shaving kit. Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids to play underwater city, only sea monsters aren't pretend, and I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by, because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. Please tell Dad for me. Thanks so much for the mustache kit, by the way. To be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here, and as you know, I'm a pretty low-maintenance guy to begin with. But you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency. There have been some close scrapes. For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck, and I thought I was seeing things. But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. 
Hmm. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny, and Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry, I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite! <laughs> okay, then. Communications tower maintenance lock. Another day, another slight by the winged furies. As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual, I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. I fear the career impact it's of saying this officially. If you can even call what I have a career. But I could swear they're targeting me personally. The week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. As if Parvin would ever clean anything. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. Oh, and I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. Tower maintenance log. Okay, this time the birds have really done it. I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. I'm gonna need to rewire. I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I remember seeing some when I did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get some more. Oh, I can go up. That should fix it. Maintenance status in progress. Sector Zero Region Scan. Two active human life forms, unauthorized habitat construction and vehicular activity. Seems like I can do much with that. Mm, employee training stuff. So I need to find the test of the right module. Nice view, Tom. Hey, Ran. Catching a cold. Anything else to do around here? Probably. There's more area to explore. Okay. Anyway, were you saying something? I mean... There's a test override module port, and it says it'll shut down the tower. Why would you need to shut down the tower? That is a good question. It doesn't really help if I don't actually know where the actual override module is, but you know. I should probably go look for it. Hey Ryan, I think there's something on the other side of that. Never mind, you were just looking at it. Turn around. This? Right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was trying to get you to go to that. Right, I was in that building, not in that building. Confused you ignored a building. I mean, I didn't see it from down there. Weird scanning angle. Cushy setup. Must belong to one of those higher uppers. <laughs> Sounds all right. Executive Toyal, right? Good morning, Frostpack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need you all to get behind. The Spy Pangling Project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero, helping us dream of future initiatives. Congratulations are also in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab, 
The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study, which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work, and I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. Yeah, he certainly sounds like a... Uh... Sam really got under management's skin. Yeah. I know she had it in her. Hmm. <laughs> And you do not need to pick up every single motivational poster. <laughs> See, but that's where you're wrong. Ooh, observatory. David, you'll be happy to know the Frost Pack is making excellent progress. I must say, my management style appears to be uniquely well suited to isolated planets. I miss you, of course, but I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together, we're almost better apart. Just look at how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months, and then what do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer-term separation success? Uh, I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects. You know there's nothing I find more attractive. I hate this guy already. to find that in here? Probably. Yes, but it's back in the cave. Wait. Don't... Don't... Do you want snow in your inventory? Kinda. Why am I not surprised, and why am I immensely disappointed? Anyway, so in this island, is there anything else I should be looking for? Yes, but it's back in the caves. Oh, right, right. Sorry, got a bit distracted with snow. Yep, this definitely seems like something back in the caves. Special request, huh? Jailbroken scanner tool. Huh. That's weird. Basically, this is just backstory on how the mineral scanner came to exist. And it's because a corporate executive wanted more shower heads. Like, I, at least it says something about Emmanuel's, uh, you know, skill. Like, he's not just there letting everyone else do all the work if he actually managed to make that from scratch. I think there's one more thing, but it's pretty deep in the island. That uh, doesn't bother me. I just need to go and find it. Which is probably not this way. Down to the right. Oh wait, no. About face. You were going the right way. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, that's kind of amusing. At least I don't seem to have stamina limits, so I guess it does make my water go down faster or something. 
Make sure water in your food. Yeah, makes sense. I don't think it's that way. No. Would this include something up there? Yeah. Ran, ran, mm -hmm. ran, down, down. This way? To the right. Ow, I'm dumb. Fall damage does exist. There's more penguins. That's not exactly where you need to go. Also, there's no babies to kidnap, so there's no point going that way. They give me heat. I'm in heat now. Please don't say that. I'll try. <laughs> uh, what am I doing with myself? Was this the right direction? Somewhat. I may be thinking of a different island. Uh, down to the right. Down to the right. Stay on the bottom track. Head towards the dock. There's a cave there. Actually, go back to that cave. Could have kept going forward because there were multiple entrances to that cave. What well, damage? If a cave gives you an opportunity to go down, take it. I have been looking for it. Left. Right. Well, I don't think I've been on this path. More sulfur, at least there's a lot of sulfur here. And a lot of penguins, and penguins, whatever. I get the feeling I should not stand on the sulfur. Right. More penguins. More penguins. Whatever. Me, trying to guide you to something very specific. You. I'm gonna jump off the island. Oh. There we go. Oh. I recognize this deck. I'd eat that... I'd eat the fucking anemone thing that you can't... That's gonna fucking rot in your inventory if you don't eat it. Shit, I forgot I had it. I wonder if she'll be... If she'll get upset that I grabbed the uh, lion cube. Okay, now you can go back to base. Which is on the other side. I guess it technically would be faster to just jump down, but... As far as I'm concerned, this island could be in between multiple biomes, and I'm not gonna risk it. Watch me die on the way back anyway. Is that like an actual mountain? Maybe. That it is. I have no idea how to... Can, can 
we actually climb that? Would be kinda cool if we could. Oh well. At least I don't seem to be as far away from my base as I assumed I was. Mostly because we kinda went a bit too far the first time, you know, minor details. Yeah, I'm just gonna beeline it back. You're going the right way-ish. Yeah, it was just... It was just... Oh, come on. I really was almost dead. <laughs> It was literally in between me and the base. I mean, between... In between the habitat and the Delta base, you know what I mean. Either way, it's kind of annoying. Actually, can I scan this thing? I'm not sure why I didn't think of it before. See what happens when you face your fears? You get to meet a scary lady in a prawn suit. Something I should have like guessed that. Altera would find a way to clip Sam's wings. Like I knew they'd do to mine once they took over Xenoworks. I tried to warn her. But she was stubborn. Like me. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be so different from her. Scrappier. Faster. Less... Play by the rules. But Sam didn't tolerate Altera's corporate red tape any more than I did. She just... tried to change it from the inside. I think in the end, we always wanted similar things. I think that's a good place to call it. What do you think? It is a bit early, but we can... What was that woman's problem? Uh, the the one in the exosuit. Crafting. I need to say which woman. And what the hell is she doing on this planet? It isn't exactly a happening vacation spot. She knew the terrain well enough to make a dramatic entrance by jumping off a sheer cliff. So I guess she's been here a while. But how long has she been following me? She said to keep away from her or off be. her land. That's what in this useful. frozen slush bog could she be protecting? Unless she's camped out somewhere. She's definitely heard of Altera, though. Did she meet Sam? All oh, right, I don't have a modification station, so that's not very useful. Uh, which means I need to make. That's a lot of things. The first things first is the uh, habitat builder. Any table code or samples? I think that's a good place to call it for today. What do you think? Maybe. I guess you do know where to find metal code or samples, right? I know a decent way to find them, so. Okay. Let me just quickly. the few things I actually have enough to make. I mean, I guess I could technically make the mineral detector. Thermos. And I do have that thing. So yes, I can make the mineral detector. Might as freaking well. The mineral detector can sniff out raw materials, potentially saving you hundreds of hours of searching. Anyway, with that out of the way, I hope you all have fun, and we'll see you next time, where I'll have to go and look for 
they will go to samples somewhere. Can't be too bad, right? Right? Anyway, goodbye. Too far. Hmm? They're not too far from the starting area. Okay, that's good to know at least. Anyway, goodbye.